How are we doing guys? It's N60 Sean. Now at the end of the last video, just as Jacksepticeye was about to escape the villain's compound, he was ambushed seemingly out of nowhere by his evil alter ego, Antisepticeye. Antisepticeye aligned with the villains and now we've got Jacksepticeye versus Antisepticeye as the rest of the heroes are making their escape. And I'm not sure that they're aware that Jack has been attacked by Antisepticeye. Delirious and Nogla are heading towards the Psycho Circus and Antisepticeye and Jacksepticeye are now battling it out. For the first time, I think, one-on-one -on -one in this channel as Antisepticeye just manages to grab the inside leg of Jack, pulling him off that box. And Jack needs to get with the program here, son, because otherwise Antisepticeye is dangerous, Antisepticeye is evil. I mean, you should know all about Antisepticeye. It's his evil alter ego. And oh, mate, that is... Is he just taking a whole shoulder load of pillar? from Antisepticeye. Jack in trouble, well, that is a, and he's just slugged him there. Almost KO'd him. And now, Jack has been taking what it looks like, I think it's the main arena of the villain's compound. This is where we saw Markiplier face off with Darkiplier in the Battle of the Briefcase. And now, Antisepticeye putting Jack into the ring, and it looks like this is gonna be settled in the ring. And a right hand, wait, hang on a second. We're gonna hear from Apparently we're hearing from the Wraith. The Wraith who's been sent to Stanford on a special mission, choking out Triple H. In front of his wife, Stephanie, what is this? The Wraith being sent to Stanford to Triple H. Why is the Wraith attacking WWE officials? What business is this? And the Wraith, oh my days. Of course, it's Jack. Jack is the NXT champion. I've been watching how Jack said to kind of my career mode is. You know that Jack said to kind of is still the NXT champion. And the villains have sent the Wraith to make Triple H officially make this match an NXT championship match. And as we know, that the Cola Demon seems to be getting stronger with every title that the villains seem to acquire. Now that they've got one of the WWE's most prestigious championships and now Antisepticeye has summoned a legion of Antisepticeye Sams. I mean this is getting more and more insane. We know that Mark Darkiplier is more of like a villainous brawler. It looks like the Antisepticeye has got tricks up his sleeve in this no disqualification match for the NXT Championship and I think it's probably going to be the most bizarre NXT Championship match in living history as Jack Jacksepticeye is just battling off Antisepticeye Sam's summoned by Antisepticeye. This is like an it's like an end of boss battle to end all boss battles as Jack Jacksepticeye faces up against it. Oh my days, he's almost Jack Jacksepticeye's been killing himself on the table. Almost snapping himself in half as he flies over the top rope. I think that did more damage to Jack as he landed awkwardly on that table. And I think I think Jack's done more damage to himself there and now Antisepticeye capitalizing once again. Jack probably full of adrenaline after battling off those antiseptic eye Sams. And another clothesline from Jack on the inside. What a, more furniture. Antiseptic eye sourcing more furniture in this extreme rules NXT title match. Triple H coerced oh my mate a power driver on what is that steel on the outside. Jack's in trouble. The villains could managed to secure a major title advantage here as Antisepticeye sets up a table in the middle of the ring. We'll find out how Nogla and H2O Delirious's rescue, rescue mission in the Psycho Circus go in a future video. And now Antisepticeye with a right hand, but now Jack manages to block it. Jack winding it up now and a huge uppercut right underneath the jaw of Antisepticeye. Antisepticeye, oh mate, that has knocked him into next week, I would have thought. We know Jack has a Septiceye punch in. Oh my days, what is with these two? And these dives are just going to end themselves. Antisepticeye always got caught up in the rungs of the ladder. And is now bringing steel steps into what has been a hellacious match between Jack, Septiceye, and Antisepticeye. These two who once aligned. But it seems like no more. Antisepticeye returning to his evil ways and now pushing a ladder into the mix as well. We didn't have enough nonsense in the ring. Antisepticeye bringing a ladder into things with that double stack table 
as well, like a double cheeseburger of a table situation. Over there is, oh, Andy Sentai, is this smart? Have you watched wrestling, mate? What are you up to? Climb out, I think maybe he was trying to maybe put away Jack with a high offense move, but now he's got himself in all sorts of trouble. I don't think he's on the angle, though, to be in any danger of going through those tables as Jack brings Antisepticeye down with a powerbomb off the ladder. More dangerous rights to Jack Septicai. Oh, mate, man, now this could be a problem for Antisepticeye as Jack now, maybe, is he far enough away? And, oh, he's got his sort of... He's, Jack, in all these efforts to try and destroy Antisepticeye, they keep just backfiring. It just keeps getting worse and worse for Jack because he keeps... Because he didn't get really anything of those tables. He just crashed himself into it. Jack, I think, is just in a desperate situation here. And now, oh no, another double cheeseburger table situation. But Antisepticeye clotheslining Jack when he was too busy concentrating on these steps, on these uh, tables. Even Jack sent into the corner. Antisepticeye sitting Jack on the top rope. Jack kicking out of him. I thought that may have been the end of Antisepticeye and a nice spinning back elbow to Jack. And now, oh, Jack, what is, what's Jack thinking here? Is Jack trying to climb, Jack trying to climb up that ladder, but Count Axis 6 is blocked up by the double tables. And now Jack putting himself in another high risk, dangerous situation. Oh, mate, what is this going to be? Jack, mate, is this the biggest mistake you've made in your career? Is this going to cost you the NXT Championship? No, he managed to dodge a chop like he's in the Matrix and a spinning neck breaker through two tables. And that has got to be it for Antisepticeye. And now Jack sizing up Antisepticeye. Antisepticeye punch. And Antisepticeye desperately trying to get to safety here. Rolling to the outside of the ring. Probably smart by Antisepticeye. Jack signaling for the end. No, he's going to bring Antisepticeye straight back into that ladder. And now where's Jack going? Jack, the NXT champion in a WWE sanctioned title match. Thanks to the villains infiltrating Stamford, Connecticut. And a diving splash. Almost like the money shot on Antisepticeye. And now <laughs> Jack's doing a little bit of spring cleaning here. Getting these tables out of the way. And another ladder right under the bridge of the nose of Antisepticeye. Another ladder being thrown out. And now Jack signalling for it. Signalling for a hyped up, powered up version of the Septiceye punch. And he hits it. Antiseptic eye looking in trouble here. And now Jack probably going to go for the jackhammer. Antiseptic eye in big trouble. And Jack. Oh, wait, wait, Captain, Captain Sprite. Captain Sprite, another one, member of the Soda Squad with a kendo stick. Trying to save the, the NXT Championship from being retained. But Jack's back up and Septic eye punch. And now Captain Sprite, you idiot. Captain Sprite seems to have just completely messed it up. He almost also caught Andy Septicai when swinging that stick like an idiot. And now Set Jack Septicai swinging that cane around. Is he going to be able to secure victory here? Andy Septicai in a lot of trouble. Jack going for the finisher that he uses in the WWE with that Emerald Flosion. Signaling for it once again. And I think this is going to be putting the salt and pepper on this. As Jack with another set of punch, get off the apron, Captain Sprite! You massive melon! And set the guy up. Jack now signaling for the end. He's to hit this and catch up with his buddies in the parking lot to try and get himself out of the villain's compound. The jackhammer hooks the leg. One, two, and three, and even though Andy sets the guy kicks out of about 3.0001, it's not gonna matter. Because Jack Sedekai has retained the NXT Championship in an impromptu title match. Another villainous attempt by the villains, obviously new villainous things, to try and steal titles. And Jack now making a run for it. And, uh, oh, okay, and wait, what is this? The WWE's Bray Wyatt. 
What is this? We've seen Bray Wyatt once before in like a flash six seconds. We wonder what business he had in there. Obviously, he's aligned with the villains. Is he the one who got the wraith into Stamford, Connecticut? Guys, what is going to happen next? Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe as well. Turn notifications on as well, please. And we will be back very soon for the next episode of Season 9 Nonsense. You guys are all excellent. Come say hi on Twitter and Instagram and all those things. I've been N60 Sean. See you later. Bye.